Hello again, and well, I just got back from Guardians of the Galaxy a few hours ago, and I, for one, really enjoyed it. I hate it, so... It's the last big Spank Phase 2 movie most cinematic news before you have Avengers of Ultron next year. It's... And also, James Gunn's convinced this is going to be part of the Avengers 3 in 2018. And so... After all, all, all the hype, 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 I'd definitely say this has to be my my favorite bit ensemble home of the phase so far. Uh, that may change if Ultron comes up, but also it's also my it's been a play, just replaced one of sort of favorite favorite phase two movie movie that we that since and so I usually just you know, try forming my opinion in a while how even though I don't like to try this usual phase, but I just say that this is tell you justified in the cases where say that it is a cause of a powerhouse it's it's definitely stunned hunting and amazing in a way just and to take everything he well, I just really think you've seen everything before they manage to take what you have and be managed in a way that just never stops surprise hating you see you that as it were the story as people will film this type there are gonna be no spoilers gonna accept it so oh it tells it tells a story of hey of I have Peter Hita Quill, also known as Star Lord, played by Chris Pat, Pat, and I definitely have to say he's he's one of my favorite favorite Marvel characters in a long time. Even though, and even though I'm not I'm familiar with comics, the way of managed to be a man just film, I say you don't have to be, so you can enjoy it on its own terms, terms, and it actually makes more start reading. And yet, yeah, that's a subway cup over there, over there with a you know, has a voucher free one as well as possibly winning some other prizes and stuff that, and. Definitely, and as a manager from Parks and Recreation, he maintains usual brand of humor, but even though he's, he has to slim down quite a bit for this action hero role in the vein of Luke Skywalker and Indiana Jones, at Jones at joining him, he also managed to find a mysterious artifact in order to get his next meal, but turns out what Ronan the Accuser, played by Lee Pace, also wants it, it's it and it's it, you know, cause destruction in the galaxy, hey, and you want to stop, help him, there, he must team up with Uncle Moore, played by Zoe Zidania, uh, 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 Rock Raccoon, voiced, voiced by you know, Bradley Cooper, and also Groot, voiced by Mendes also. And is it, it, it is quite apparent that even though uh, with DC, I definitely would, I mean, well, I'm going to be looking for a bounce with Superman, it's quite clear that they really haven't been able to got many of the big money, honey, behind and beyond those names, names since... Most noble it's Ham, Ham to Greenland, who was a non-starter, so they definitely had to be slow in introducing the other big heroes, well, it's because there aren't that many of them. But now, given how it's net, uh, record opening, opening, uh, opening, they can now afford to take Gam, handballs, and ones might not audience might not be familiar with, and more casual non readers like myself, I mean, in all sense, and that. And favorite character of the ensemble had to be Drax Destroyer, played by Batista of the WWE, that e that. He's reasonably he's really good at having to give the script, which director James Gunn also co-wrote. But also, as a wrestler, he definitely he has doing his own stunts down on the hound sense. On end, given how the way I've seen with his ship, hip the hip the Milano, on a on a no the oh, definitely has a very good design. And on the inside, definitely reminds me of a mixture of the Millennium Falcon and the Serenity. It's a ship with real guts to it, but a lot of personality sense. They built most of the sets, had set, had so they tried to limit the sea, limit the CGI whenever they can, absolutely had to, had to, which it makes a lot of interesting in locations, such as, such as the the prison, his and there was a kiln, as well as this mining planetoid, and it's what it's at, it's at. Everything looks very you know, gritty, but also very colorful as well at the same time, like that, so managed to capture sort of, kind of comic book feel, as well as the stuff I've seen in the original Star trilogy that. Working in episode seven, I'm gonna have a discussion video on that. I'm not gonna be looking forward to it, to it, and yeah, but that's not important right now. As a point as how that sense, the action is quite well shot, and also even though the story is definitely used things a lot more familiar, with, but I would manage to make it appeal to everyone in some way, in shape or form. That that's really why I am enjoying there was some phase two and how that sense seems to be a biggest uptick, and and would draw on the appointment next year here and. Right now, I have to say that my favorite Phase 2 movie so far in Sunday Order are this one, followed by Winter Soldier, Iron Man 3, and Thor the Dark World, so... Oh, and I ran to a well, that last one a while ago, and even though I enjoy it, it's fine. Fine, that's just... This is why I didn't get to see it here in theater, even though I wanted to, in the two cents. Even though it wasn't quite as good as the first one, that's why I still find it enjoyable what it was. How's that? But still... 
this one is definitely going to be a proof we hoping how there's definitely going to, I think this may by any chance change how, how movies, movies are done on, on this time of year since August usually you know when people are heading back to school and work it tends to be the dull movie going season that also it's been kind of a bit of a down year a slow year here this summer so far here this far and anyway hey going on my verdict so far her and that her, uh, my final rating you're hitting four out of four her and uh, so this is definitely definitely the film Age of Ultron has to beat he and he and definitely gonna be looking forward to seeing more of these folks folks given how these all actors I admire that and that I definitely have 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 all these actors handle this given how I'd seen you know, Batista before a new Riddick as well alongside Vin Diesel new Riddick and and so anyway I'm gonna have a cut here and I'm gonna talk about some trailers I saw during this whole thing and as opposed to the last film it's been a bit of a mixed bag actually. Okay, so let's get the heavy drags out of the way first. First off, Alexander the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Bad, Bad Day, which is, it is adaptation of the book of the same name, which I understand that maybe adaptations have to be changed, especially when you're in a case of so a doc, a, a day after, after a book that's only at best about 30 or 40 pages long, um, but I think you know, it's going to be one of those situations where it's going to be like that horrible live action cat in the hat for half film that. I mean, I was 11 when I saw it. I didn't know any better. I mean, I don't know that. I know that. And this one seemed to be less focused on Alexander as opposed to his family. That, and the most noticeable it was the father played by Steve Carell. And that's, I'm just so sorry about this one since, given how well Michael Scott in the office was another movie show, he can do comedy very well. No, but, no, but you know, he can generally be funny in any that show and other movies. Definitely want to see the UK version with the Jerry's, but that's important right now. Is how that, that's why I noticed in this trailer that, unless I can notice otherwise, that Peter Morton's in his family's is very bad day than Alexander's sense. And also, oh, the Wrecker Valve line, hi, is Poser's brother, what are advice for? He's, he's, un, as an unknown yet director, unnamed yet director, Jonathan's a good Disney film, you're a bad Disney film, um, sense. And the reason why I'm addressing this is because that is a movie that understood uh, the concept of video games so well, about both young and old, on both vet, both the retro and modern. But apparently, one one of the plot points involves in trying to land a job at this game design firm. Yet, the director apparently does not know how how game designers actually talk or dress. Since I've seen him, him, him what well, it was like at E3 he this year, and all those videos I've been following that was Nintendo's live stream. Game online, hi that, hi that. The people at the Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony all dress business casual and talk like as if they're talking to more people as an actual vendor. So that, is that. I think, you, you think it's been 25 years since the Wii's that they would understand this thing more, but apparently not. I mean, so, not so. And Night at Museum 3, hey, hey, and. I'm sorry, but even though I like Ben Stiller, I just do not like those films that did not like the first one, had no interest in the, as the sequel, the first sequel, nor do I have interest in this one, so... It's Christmas, I think I'll probably find me Battle of Iromi, since I saw it just like a not too long on last night, I ate, or the, I ate before I saw this, and I think I'm going to be enjoying that a lot more, so, or that. And also, let's go back to Head to, head to with... No good way by day because with the Hobbit, even though it's just technically a shorter book than Lord of the Rings, it's still a fantasy novel. A lot, just so much happened, happened that, so I can understand that. Maybe including the impediments is also Jackson's many on points for making things a couple of Lord of the Rings was. But anyway, now let's get to the let's get to the actual good things. I think that's when this guy saw how that minute long trailer for Mocking J Part One, on, on which still has has okay, it looks to be every bit as intense. And says so, so the book, look okay, is that it's fine, has a fine one. That personally, I think the breaking down was only one that's definitely not playing two parts. Since, since I, I just know how I feel about those, those books. Since, and since with Marking J, I can see where as long as Harry Potter the Hallows, that just much help up happens in it, so I can understand playing that into two parts. That hurts as well. That well. And last one, definitely going to be the biggest one, 
I guess I see where the film at home proceeded. Interstellar by Christopher Nolan, so no. Don Fonzo Quorum won the last Oscars and Oscars. made lots of money from Gravity. Uh, it's no, Christopher Nolan's trying to tie do the realistic like, space, hey, a space disaster that has no sense. With Matthew McConaughey, first off, as a Academy Award winning role, role in Dallas Buyers Club. Looks to be you know, like, spirited lead, and also. I'm glad that Laura's regular is coming back since Michael Caine role as Anne Hathaway. And for being a new Catwoman, humming that. And so, definitely looking forward to this one since. Since this is his first major attempt at doing 3D, which is something he's been resisting in the past, but now. I think if it's like if anything like reality was, it could be even memory how it can only be used as sort of a technical medium, but also an artistic one as well. Well, in all sense. Well, given how. The scenes I've seen in film are spectacular, so and. In a sense, I think it's approved to be how much how I can do these ones like Inception and Prestige, how, how I can use it as art, both an artistic and storytelling medium, since the scenes I was showing off were quite amazing. Since this is coming out, it's coming out in November, remember, and uh, as it is, as Mocking J Part 1, and so definitely brief films are going to be looking forward to, and if I'm going to be seeing them. It's all going to depend on how I'm going to do my 700th episode since I'm realizing that I really cannot go on huh, for ever, ever. I mean, I meant what I said ahead at the end, at the end of my, you know, the, my media life review, you know, since you know, that I am working on finishing school and all of us contemplating getting any, any employment for you, old, so I'm not going to be able to keep this channel up for much longer, I don't think. Anyway, so I'd like to say, doing console explanation, see you later.